My name is uh, Rita Orlando. I'm the primary coordinator of this project whose name is DEUS and it is the European Open Design School for Sustainable Regional uh, Development. It's one of the COVE projects and of course it's a BET training project which focuses on the cultural and creative sector. It brings together 10 partners from nine European uh, countries, including four European capital of cultures, which are uh, a very important contributors to the project because they bring together a lot of creative people. And together we will try to co-create an innovative path in design critical thinking in response to local challenges. The project DEUS has been shaped upon the Open Design School, which is um, the pillar project of Matera 2019, European Capital of Culture. So in a way, we have already started to test a part of the, of the methodology that we want to continue analyzing and developing through the DEUS project. So why an open design school, um, which is fundamental for the implementation of this project? It is open because it leaves space for any kind of experimentation. So this, will, this means that we will aim to set up some principles, but not rigid uh, rules. Design as a tool, as a process for problem solving and uh, for delivery of different kind of solutions, and especially school, which is crucial for a VT uh, institution, as a space for knowledge uh, exchange based on experience, especially based on peer-to-peer -peer approach and aiming to break the barriers uh, between the different uh, disciplines because we have already experimented within the Open Design School that putting together uh, different professionals from different backgrounds and different origins, it leads to unexpected uh, solution and enhances also uh, the skills that people uh, have in themselves. So uh, this is just a map to highlight who are the partners involved in the consortium. We have European Capital of Cultures, but also uh, three university. We have uh, cultural incubators, uh, etc. So we have a lot of different representatives from, from the cultural and creative uh, sector that are aiming to implement the project. So why the CCI sector? It is a very important and strategic sector for the um, economic system of the European uh, Union. It has a high, a high potential in innovation and growth and it can create uh, many spillovers and so bring values to other economic sectors, which is something that we don't often uh, recognize, but creativity can be, and especially the, the contribution of creatives can give a big development of sectors. It is a very heterogeneous and fragmented sector and this is one of the biggest challenges that we have to face within the DEUS project because it's very different to identify which are all the creative uh, involved in the CCI sector because it's a very varied. It goes from architecture to design and design is a very immense field from graphic design to game design to interface design, etc. It includes also books and media, of course, advertisement films, etc, etc. So, what are the main challenges that we want to face and that we are already started to face since January when the project have kicked uh, has been kicked off. So we want to boost the entrepreneurial aptitude of the CCI sector. We want to give a major access to finance. We want to understand how to provide spaces and infrastructure, both physical and virtual, of course, also through platforms. We want to boost the internationalization of the system and also to promote the cross-sector uh, cooperation and and fertilization. So how do we want to do it? Through the open design approach. Uh, uh, this is one of the sentences of John Cage uh, and he said we are breaking all of the rules, even our own rules. 
by leaving plenty of room for X qualities or quantities. So this means that, as I said uh, at the beginning, uh, not strict rules, yes, clear rules, but more principles than rigid rules that are not flexible, adaptive, while the sector needs a lot of flexibility, which is uh, really linked to creativity in itself. So, which are the main objectives of the DEUS project? to develop a participatory approach, innovative methodology to identify the local challenges and then the challenges also at EU level and generate solution for the CCI professional, facilitate also the professional skills development for CCI, enhancing the potential of VT institution as a first choice to train uh, upskill and reskill uh, during the professional uh, career, and also to promote the financial sustainability and transferability of the methodology and of the training solutions that we will identify through the project. So, to do so, we want, of course, to identify this new learning approach uh, for the CCI system, but in accordance with the ECBET. Uh, system also to create a co-creation to develop a co-creation process where the CCI sector can work closely with the local communities and also with the policy makers in order to identify local challenges and provide solutions accordingly. We want to establish also innovation hubs, this living lab to conduct research, but also to bring people together because one of the main challenges for the sector, and this is something that we have already had the chance to discuss uh, on through some focus group that have been carried on to implement the project, is the fact that the CCI sector miss some gathering point or places where, they, where creative can come together and work together, collaborate and, uh, I mean, create new opportunities for themselves and from other people. Design, of course, a knowledge creative platform that we want to leave open for the creative uh, all, all over Europe and all, all over the world to keep in, talk, in contact one with each other, but also like a, a creative platform where creative professionals can find information, new opportunities, but also training toolkit available for uh, anybody and free to use. But also, mainly, we want also to develop a financial model uh, in order to create uh, um, I mean, a system that can be self-sustainable through the usage of a mix, uh, mix uh, funds, uh, both from the public uh, sector but also for the private sector. So, which is the process that we have put in place? Of course, the first step is the analysis and of the holders. We have a survey online that you can find on our website and we have identified some main categories between educators but also freelancers which are the uh, most difficult uh, of course uh, to find and to define but also CCI advocacy bodies and policy maker. Uh, we aim at designing this uh, methodology and training toolkit, uh, then we will go through a phase of co-creation with the, the stakeholders and a piloting session. And then we have the last stage, who is the forward looking stage, which includes the sustainability model and a proper business model for these uh, innovation labs or living labs that we want uh, to create. So, which are the outcomes that we hope to reach? Uh, of course, a successful training methodology and program for CCI professionals, including the development of a self-assessment tool for uh, the creative sector in order to identify which are the skills that people have gathered through the, in their entire career. Of course, a new model of sectoral cooperation skills based on these living labs, but also a sectoral cooperation which includes not only representative of the sector, as already mentioned, but also 
and especially policymakers, and sense who should work together closely to identify which are the, the main challenges and the best solutions for their regional and uh, local level. Uh, of course, this knowledge creating platform for CCI. An enhanced image of VET amongst adults and also young people for the creative sector. Of course, we want also to, to reinforce long-term cooperation between the European Capital of Culture, which uh, invests a lot on culture and creativity. Uh, and so they gather a lot of creative people from all the diverse uh, fields of the CCI sector. But also we want to establish this transnational alliance with a strong uh, regional dim dimension as well. So I will leave you with the, our motto, which is learn, design, and create. And thank you. These are the, these are the mail and the website of the project if you want to know more. Thanks, Inigo. So I will ask you two questions. The first one is a question related to special education needs. And yeah, it is a question that says, does the project, does the DEUS project consider special education needs? So we are trying to establish which are the special education needs for the sector with different representative of the sector. We don't have, I mean, we want to work together with the representative for the sector because they know which are their needs. So beyond the service, we are organizing many focus groups with diverse representatives of the sector from uh, freelancers to educators uh, to policymakers, etc. because they have, of course, different visions and different perspectives, but we are trying to put them together, I mean, to discuss together, which is very hard to if there's not a system beyond that can facilitate this kind of uh, cooperation. So, yes, we are mapping their needs with them, of course. Okay, thank you, Rita. And then I will ask you one more question. You were talking about an open design approach. So could you elaborate a bit further on that? Okay, so the open design approach is... Um, as, a, uh, as I told you through John Cage, is an approach that leaves a lot of space for the experimentation, okay? So it's a, it's a methodology based on trial and error. So you try to develop a solution with having the ambition that you have uh, the, the final answer. There are plenty of solutions for one challenge, and you leave plenty of space for any of those solutions, and you reach the best one while if you try it. So it's a, it's a process that uh, leverages on learning by doing, which is proper to the VET system uh, also, and is strongly based on a peer-to-peer -peer approach. This is something that we have already experimented at the Open Design School Matera, we have bring together different professionals from different disciplines and believe me, very different from scenographers to engineers that it's very hard to put together and to work together. But it works because when you leave the floor to people to express themselves and to use all the skills that they have without, uh, I mean, identifying them so rigidly, so saying that he is an engineer and he will act just as an engineer. But if that engineer is free to use all the resources and everything that he, he has learned through the, his entire life, and if you leave people the freedom to feel like teachers or to share the, their experience, Okay, so thank you very much, Rita, for your presentation and for the answers to the questions.